welcome back to my channel to see i'm so out of practice <laughs> welcome back to show me sherry all right so um i just got back from the doctor's office and for those of you who have been following um the last month or so i will say that um i'm hoping that i'm on the way to finding some relief. It has been a, a really bad, big struggle. Um, and I appreciate all of you that have reached out by email. Um, your stories have given me so much hope, more than you can imagine, where I didn't really feel alone. So you guys are, uh, you know, you mean the absolute world to me, and I appreciate um, the friendships that I have formed with some of y'all, and uh, I appreciate it very, very much. I continue to ask for your patience and to show me some grace. Um, it's been really tough. Um, my hormones, well, they just checked them, and hopefully I'll get that information in a few days but um yeah i've just been it's like someone flipped a switch and i'm not me anymore so it's it's rough and to even think about filming i just can't seem to do it as a matter of fact i have tickets to an event um tomorrow that i always look forward to and i don't think i'm gonna be able to go i just i'm having difficulty um even like, I just don't want to see people. So especially people I, I know, um, you can read my face and I am very transparent and very honest. And I'm just not right now in kind of a mood to make small talk or, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just trying to find an answer. But um, I have all these home decor boxes that keep showing up. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to jump on here and we're going to open four boxes and we're going to do it quick. I'm not going to linger on this stuff. Um, we're just going to open it up and see what I've got. I have not gotten my Urban Farm Girl. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to film that one or not. Um, I'm getting ready to have Brad for a two week stretch. And, um, you know, when I have Brad, I don't, I don't film. And after that, I'm just going to ask, you know, that you hang in there and be patient with me because, um, I'm going to take, I, I need some time off and especially around the holidays. Um, my baby girl is, uh, going to be 26 in January and I don't have a whole lot of time left for her before she moves away and starts her life. So, um, yeah, I want to I want to spend some time with her. So I'm going to try to get through this video without crying, but um, it's been a daily occurrence. Chocolate and crying has been a daily occurrence um, lately. So um, I do have four four boxes to open up, but I wanted to tell you I've had so many of you reach out and ask me about um, where the where you could send me something um, or you know, I've had some people say that they've made something for me and it's so sweet. I mean, thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it. So um, I have a Happy Mail address now and I will link it below. Um, so yeah, if you want to send something to me or just some Happy Mail of any kind, uh, I'll put that address down below and we'll be checking that from time to time. So thank you in advance. Um, it means a lot. All right, so I'm going to start with um, the Holiday Haul box, and all the information for all these boxes will be down below. Like I said, I have so many here, so we're going to just jump in because there's a ton to do. All right, so Holiday Haul box, Jingle Delivered. All right, let's get in here and see what we have. It's kind of funny because I have, um, I decluttered, recently decluttered all of my Christmas decor. And, um, oh yeah, I should probably mention, I have a group that I've started on Facebook. It's free. It's a public group called Show Me Declutter. And I'll try to remember to link that below as well. Um, I'm going to be going live, uh, 
with sales on that in that group. So um, I think we're going to do Friday nights. I think we decided on that. I've had one so far since I just started it, but I was going to have one tonight, but under the circumstances, I'm not. So there will not be a sale until probably the middle of January, my first sale. And then probably every other week after that, possibly, or either every two weeks or once a month. I don't know yet, but um, we are trying to declutter. Of course, I haven't had any motivation, so we haven't decluttered a lot yet, but um, I decluttered my Christmas decor just in time to get a whole bunch more. <laughs> So we'll see if any of these are keepers. If not, you're likely to see them on an upcoming live sale, maybe towards the end of next year. I have a feeling these live sales are gonna be, we're probably gonna need to have them for a good six months, maybe longer. We're gonna be um, eliminating a lot of stuff, trying to kind of embrace a more minimalistic lifestyle. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so holiday haul box see what we've got. A um, little brochure. I think it talks about, yeah, everything in here, so I'm not going to peek. Looks like some garland. Um, it is, it looks like sugared, kind of a sugared look, glittery sugared look of candy. Um, normally, I mean, I would be all about it. Uh, but I'm kind of going for a lot more um, natural vibe with my Christmas decor. I'm looking around. <laughs> I didn't get to put up a tree this year. It's too much has been going on, but I did put some decor out. And um, yeah, it's a little more earthy tones, more natural. I have a lot of uh, trees in burlap, um, in burlap material on the bottom and, um, yeah, just, these are my actual presents. Um, they're not all of them. I'm not done wrapping, but, <clears throat> but um, yeah, I decided I'm gonna put all my gifts up there <laughs> since I don't have a tree up this year. And we're not gonna decorate outside either, which is unbelievable because I love to decorate outside or I love for Dwayne to decorate outside. Let me, let me say that. Okay, so let's keep moving on. I'm, see, I'm going squirrel on you again, talking about whatever. Um, oh, this is really cute. I don't know if I'll be able to keep it in my, but, oh, it lights up too, really? Let me pull that out. Oh my gosh. So it's like a little gingerbread house, but look, look at the glittery. That is, that is really cute and it lights up. That is so cute. See, I'm tempted always, always. It's gonna be quite the challenge to see how I can become a minimalist or a mediumalist. That's what I've been calling it. All right, next, looks like we have a dish towel and this is pretty. I mean, that's a practical, useful item, right? North Pole, Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. That's really cute. And it's a nice, thick cotton fabric. Yeah, I think I'll be keeping that. <laughs> See, you guys already made me laugh. I just need to hang out with you for a little bit. All right, so let's see what we got here. A lot of sparkle in this box. A Merry Christmas, and it's really sparkly. That's really cute. That, that might look nice on, um, on the back of uh, a toilet, you know, on the top of a toilet. I've got some styrofoam stuck in here, but that's really cute. I just think Brad would think it's candy and try to eat it. <laughs> it does kind of look like a cookie. Okay, and Brad is a cookie monster. So if something looks like a cookie, he's gonna want it. These are cute little bitty bottle trees and they also have glitter and some little ornaments. I'm not gonna take it out because um, I know I don't need these. So that will be a future uh, sale or giveaway, whatever. All right, and then next, okay, is this a real cookie? Oh man, I thought it was a cookie. I was getting excited. I can't have enough chocolate these days. 
or sweets. And I just got off the phone <clears throat> with my super close friend and coach, um, Melissa from the Gingham Girl. I don't know why I waited so long to talk to her. We've both been very busy, but she helped so much just chit-chatting, you know, together and I'm going to cry. Ugh. Um, yeah. So she told me, I, I told her after the doctor, I broke down and, and bought a whole bunch of chocolate at Walgreens and she said, send it all to me and I'll give it to the neighborhood kids. <laughs> she knows that I'm going to eat it if I don't get rid of the chocolate. But anyway, oh my gosh, I love sugar cookies, especially iced sugar cookies and look how cute that is. This, as cute as it is, I cannot keep. Um, Brad would, he would eat it. He would literally eat it. So I can't have something like that. Okay, and I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so that's it for Holiday Hall. Uh, let me move it, move it out of the way. And we'll get into something else. Next is White Home Woods. Um, I will have the information down below uh, about White Home Woods. It's a home decor subscription box that I enjoy. Um, this is their winter box. And look at this little seal inside here. It's like a little wax seal. That's so cute. They send a print every, every, every year, every box with some art that you can put um, on this wood base that they had made to hold these. And it's so cute. Oh yeah, this is Happy Holidays. You know, that would go, this would very much go with my um, kind of my subdued theme. Um, I'm just looking around seeing what, I usually go very vintage with my decor and I have a vintage look. Um, I have a lot of bells and trees and, uh, my new willow tree nativity set that I've wanted forever. Um, a lot of deer, just a variety, but a lot of uh, greenery. So here, that would go great in my home. Okay. Ooh, on top I see a tree, another tree. I can't have enough trees. This one is so pretty. It has some gold glitter. That just went everywhere. Look at the tree. Of course it needs shaped, but can you see the gold glitter? That's pretty. I wonder if I'm supposed to if this is supposed to stay on there or if that's supposed to come off. I think it's supposed to stay on there. So I'm gonna leave it on there. It's from Mud Pie. Mud Pie has some super cute things. Let me just try to shape it just a little. Well, I'm not doing the best job. You know, you guys know you have to shape your your trees and I'm trying to go quick, so. All right, you get the gist, you get the gist. Okay, next up, oh, bells. I've had a thing for bells lately especially vintage looking bells. But I'm not that picky. I like all bells at Christmas time. It's really hard when you're struggling this time of year, when it's your favorite time of year and you're struggling so bad. Oh, this is cute, y'all. Look. I guess that's a door hanger. I don't have a door hanger. That could easily be added into my decor. That's cute. All right. So far, I love it. 
a tree, which I have a bunch of trees and I love them. Bells, which I love. Um, what is this? It looks like an ornament maybe. It's a little white home woods. Oh, you know what? I think this is my anniversary gift because I've been with them for a year. It is warm apple. They hand, hand pour their um, candles in house. They smell so good. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Warm apple, it smells amazing. Oh wait, I got two. Wonder if I was supposed to get two. Or if I accidentally got an extra one. Winter Wonderland. Mmm, that smells good. It's kind of um I smell a little spice, but a little fruit too. I like that. Winter Wonderland. Okay. What do we got next? I think we have a throw. That's funny. I just went through all of my blankets and yeah, I doubt I have room for this, but it's nice. Oh my gosh. It's like cable knit with, with fringe. Nice cottony. That's, that's pretty. Creative Co-op. It's a 60 by 50, so a really good size throw. Just throw on while you're watching TV, watching movies. I plan on doing some movie watching with my husband. He's taking some time off to spend with me um, around the holidays, so that's going to be nice. Okay, I think that's it. Let me double check. We gotta throw a couple candles, a tree, and bells. Yep, that's it. All right. Okay, that was a cute one. I really wanna keep everything in that box. All right. Next up, I have a box that's not necessarily a holiday box by any means. Um, do you guys remember my Urban Farm Girl, my last Urban Farm Girl unboxing? I got um, this beautiful, beautiful framed uh, little, um, what is it that they called it? Like autumn, it was like, it was wood frame, about that big, and it was called autumn something, and it had like autumn trees. It was gorgeous. I absolutely loved it. Well, I looked up the company. It's called Lily and Sparrow. And if you go to their website, lilyandsparrowco.com, I'll try to remember to link that below as well. They have lots of those um, wooden signs, but they have some home decor as well. So I went on the website and I got a few things. I found the perfect place for that autumn something or other sign. They have it in stock, you will see it. It's beautiful and it's so well made. So I found a place for it in my main bath, which is Brad's bath. Um, so I wanted some signs that were like that to hang in that same spot because it worked great on the side wall by the sink. And I thought, I'd like to have that sign and um, for different seasons. So I ordered a few things. So I thought I'd share that with you since I'm, oh, these peanuts. Since I'm sharing boxes with you. Okay, I'm just gonna dig and make a mess. That's just the way it is. They have some floral too. So I ordered this um, floral, with the lavender, like a lavender stem. I thought that would be really pretty in spring and summer, but lavender's always so, you know, purple everywhere. Well, this was white and I thought that was really pretty. So I got this and then I got this stem because I just liked the size of it to go in a small planter. 
So I got those. I don't know how I'm gonna get these signs out without peanuts going everywhere. Okay. Let me just try to get all the products out. Okay, I think I got it all. All right, let's continue. All right, then I saw this little, um, I don't know, it's just a little shelf fitter. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I fell in love with it. I love galvanized metal. Um, I love white's cottagey look, um, galvanized metal, greens, greenery, and wood tones mixed with the whites. And um, I don't know, I just fell in love with this kind of vintage, some things vintage mixed in. And this is just a little, it's just a nice little shelf sitter. It's kind of a rusty galvanized, you know, small little container. I mean, they have more. It wasn't, it wasn't very um, expensive at all. So I thought this would look cute on the new bookcase that we just bought, just sitting there. Um, I may end up getting another one and stacking it. I don't know, but I just thought it was super, super cute. So I got that. And then, okay, now that all the unwrapping is done, um, then I got, I thought these were so cool. I do not have any candlesticks. I have a lot of pillar candles and a lot of jar candles, but I like the look of like three different size candlesticks, you know, just on one side of a buffet or a entertainment center or something. And I just fell in love with these chunky ones that they had in their store. Look how like, they're just so organic looking, aren't they? And then twisted, and then there's this seam here. They call those the blacksmith um, candle, taper candle holders, which I can see because it does look like a blacksmith just pounded them out and, and made them for me at like Silver Dollar City. So I got a set of three so that I can display them together. Let's see if I get, they're heavy because they're iron. <laughs> And they weren't very expensive, I didn't think. So there's, you know, three sizes. I'm not holding them correctly, but I just thought they were beautiful. Um, I love that organic, natural kind of look. It just looks like it was just handmade for me. See that seam, how it just wraps around? And then this big, chunky, organic bottom. I just, I just fell in love with them. So, and they're unusual. They're not the same that you see like on Amazon um, where everybody has the same. I kind of wanted something different. So I am really impressed with Lily and Sparrow. All right, and then I got the three signs and they're all the same size. So this one I got for year round up above the toilet in the main bathroom. I have a galvanized um, three tier shelf kind of thing up above, but it's higher up because Dwayne didn't want to add another um, nail hole so he used an existing one so it's kind of hanging a little too high so I thought I would get this for right underneath because there's a big space there so what if today we were just grateful for everything I think that's just the perfect little sign to go under there and that's a quote of course from Charlie Brown isn't that cute it's all handmade they make their signs, they stamp it on the back. I just, I really am impressed with the quality of these signs and they're not that expensive. Not when you compare it to like a Fufu Boutique. Okay, so this is the same size as that autumn sign that I got. And this one, I feel like I kind of got this one for spring and summer. I may add another one later to a more specific season. We'll see, I'll keep watching their website, but I thought this was really pretty. It's very subtle, but it's just, you know, kind of like a watercolor um, sunset over the ocean or a sunrise over the ocean is kind of what it reminded me of. And I thought that would be really nice in the spring and summer time. So this, I chose this. And again, it has the stamping on the back. And then the one for Christmas or winter, the winter season, 
Oh yeah, this is prettier in person than I thought. A lot of their stuff is very watercolor looking. That autumn one was. Um, this one is just like a snowy scene with some trees. Very simple, very elegant. Um, that's going to be hanging in the winter in my in my bathroom. And I just really loved it. So as you can see, these are all like the same size. So I'll just swap them out for the different seasons. Something handmade, very well made, um, different than what everybody else has. I highly recommend this company. Um, they're a small business. I'm helping a little family. I mean, I just, I love this, love it. This one's a little bit bigger than those other two, but like I said, that's gonna stay year round up above my toilet, unless she comes out with something this shape that I wanna add for like Christmas or something. I will be checking out their website on repeat. I just really liked the stuff that I saw. And I didn't think they were overpriced. And it came with a coupon. So 15% off my next order with a handwritten note by the company, which is this adorable, cute little family right there. I mean, I love it. I love it. All right, we have one more box. Um, I have my current nesting box from Nest and Fig. This one does not say fragile all over it, so I would assume that it's not breakable. Last year we got um, the most beautiful deer that's like laying and it's just got like crystal-y glitter all over it. My husband loves that. We did not declutter that. That we kept. I just love that kind of stuff. All right, so we have a card that I'm not gonna look at and see what we have. I'm gonna take all the wrappy things out. I think I already see what it is. Well, I think, maybe not. Okay, all right, I got everything out. All right, so what I'm seeing are what looks like little houses. So originally I thought he sent a village. Oh, it's little, it's little house tea light, tea light holder. I like the beige shade for a different look. Let me take this little thing out and turn it on so you can see it on. Oh, that's really cute. That's very subtle. That's really cute. Once the Christmas presents are open, I could do the little village over there. All right. Oh, y'all, it flicks, it flickers. That is so neat, and it feels like a silicone tip. Well, that's even cooler than I thought. Okay. I'm gonna put that right over here so you can kind of see it. Okay, and it looks like we got two more. Okay, and we have two more different designs. These are more, um, these are unglazed. So we have the little short guy back there that is a shiny glaze, like a beige. And then you could put these two different, um, two different height unglazed houses with that one and make a cute little trio. I love the little lights. That's so cute. Okay, that's really neat. You know, that's something I feel like that could be used year round. Don't you think? I mean, little houses, that's not Christmas specific. I don't feel like. And these you can actually replace the battery on. They're not just a disposable. All right. I love the nested fig. Look how cute that is. Okay, up next. Oh, I bet that goes on this. Up next is this super cute that I may have to keep. <laughs> Christmas tree 
shaped candle holder, metal, and it's already has the, um, like a little wreath, uh, pine cone wreath with some berries inside and green, and then this separate for a little candle. Whoa, surely it fits in there. There we go. That's cute. That's really cute. Okay, and then up next feels like wood. We'll see. Oh, that's cute. It's Wooden Mary. I like that this is just a wood natural tone. I like this instead of just all the traditional red and green. This is nice. This will definitely go good on my, um, on my bookcase over there. So now I have to kind of decide what do I want to trade out for? Because I really don't want a whole bunch of extra stuff. So this is gonna be fun. So far I haven't seen anything that I don't wanna keep. That could be a problem. All right, let's look at the card. See how he has this. All right, so he has this styled, the three houses on a tray with the Christmas tree, candle holder, and then the Mary sitting beside it. That's really cute. I'm not digging that flower. Maybe it's an amaryllis for Christmas, but yeah. It's not my taste, but I do like the houses and the tree and the Mary. Isn't that cute? So your November nesting box is here. November. I guess it is my November nesting box. This month I wanted to send you a collection perfect for adding touches of holiday cheer throughout your home or style the items together like pictured on the front of this card. Thanks for being a subscription box member and you can follow them at the nested fig um, on instagram yeah just instagram i think and wesley is the owner which oh my gosh he is such a good stylist um and you can you can also you can also follow wesley at farm shenanigans on instagram as well okay so that is it for the holiday boxes that have adorned my porch over the last like two weeks um, I'm still really eager to get the Urban Farm Girl. If I get it before I have Brad during that big span of time, I will um, I will open it up for you on YouTube. If not, I'll just uh, open it and take maybe pictures and put it on Instagram. And I'm showing me Sherry on Instagram as, all, as well. I haven't really started using Instagram very much, but um, I would like to start doing it when I kind of... Um, get a handle on things. So as my coach and one of my very best friends, Melissa from the Gingham Girl said, you need to take some time off and do self care. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a whole bunch of self care. Um, I'm trying to follow up with all the different doctors that are being recommended for me to, um, to schedule and have some tests run. They uh, took my blood today for the hormone levels, thyroid levels, all the things. And then I got my booster, so my COVID booster. Y'all, I never told you, but I had COVID. Um, I contracted it in December of 2020. And um, January of 2021, I had it. Dwayne and I had it at the same time and we had it really bad. Uh, we uh, missed several days. We were passed out for several days at a time. If it wasn't for uh, my family being very proactive with trying to check on us and call us, and this is at the, be you know, towards not the very beginning, but before the um, vaccines were available. Uh, so they didn't wanna just, <clears throat> So yeah, they diligently continued to try to get a hold of us. And um, by the time January 9th was the day I went to the hospital in an ambulance with an oxygen level of 52. And I wasn't really expected to, to survive, but I did. 
And um, yeah, I was in the hospital for a week. So it was quite an ordeal that we went through. And it was, um, I can't even describe what it felt like, but I can tell you that anytime that there's a vaccine or a booster available, uh, Scoopy and I are right there and ready to get it. We do not ever want to get that ever again. We, um, yeah, I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how serious it was. And yeah, it was not a, it was not a good time of our life. So anyway, um, you know, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me. I am sorry that I haven't been available as, as much, but you can always email me or now send something in the mail, happy mail. That would always be fun to um, get some well wishes from y'all. And yeah, so I hope you guys are gearing up for the holiday season. I have some gift guides coming at you. If you haven't already seen this, I'm not sure how I'm gonna upload the videos that I have. Um, Dwayne and I did some gift guides for women one for men and one for stocking stuffers. And then I think that's pretty much it. Oh, well, we did a silver, two silver swags. We had two silver swags to do, so we did that as well. So I think that's it. Um, I think later tonight we're going to go on a annual date. Um, I think it'll be tonight. If not tonight, tomorrow night, uh, we go to McDonald's every year and grab a hot chocolate. And I don't get to... I don't get to drink mine until the end of the date because I'm a wuss with hot. And so we get hot chocolate and we drive around to different light displays in our area and do a Christmas light date. It's a lot of fun and just kind of romantic. And it's something that I enjoy doing with him every year. So um, I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. I'm sorry if I am not myself. I'm really not myself right now. But thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm sure I'm not going to meet my goal of a 1,000 by the end of the year since I've had to take time off. Um, but if you're on here and you haven't subscribed, think uh, consider, consider hitting that red subscribe button. It would really mean the absolute world. And I would love to make it to a 1,000 by December 31st, even though I doubt that could happen, but I guess it could with your help. So um, until we meet again, y'all, Godspeed and many, many blessings. Bye.